Friday, so it's currently uh, four in the morning. <laughs> but you know, but you know, I got that random ass motivation you get in the middle of the night. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a cube. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do this super quick. Okay, I'm gonna get started. So you gotta import your picture. This is how long I want it. So what you're gonna start off by doing is um, pre-composing your picture, of course. And you're gonna duplicate it five times. On Windows, you're gonna do Control D. So one, two, three, four, five. So now I got six of them. So I'm just gonna change the top three to a different color, just so I'm like, you know, what's it called? Um, organized. I also want it to look nice. So I'm gonna change the colors. So now you're gonna select all of them and you're going to add motion blur and 3D layer. Now for the top three here, you're gonna press, you're gonna select them, press A on your keyboard for the anchor point, change this to 540. And then you're gonna select the bottom three, do the same thing by clicking A, this time change it to negative 540. So now we got that done, we're gonna go over here to add the camera and change this to um, custom view one so for the second one right here you know what i'm actually going to rename them all right so i renamed them all just so it's easier for all of us you're going to start off by going to layer number two we're, click r and you're going to change the x rotation to 90. now it's on the bottom and you're going to go to the uh, third one click r on your keyboard you're going to change the y rotation to 90 as well and now you're done with the green area so we're moving on to the pink. So you're gonna skip the first one. You're gonna go to number five. You're gonna click R again, change the X rotation to 90 as well. You're gonna go to the last one, click R, change the Y rotation to 90. You're basically done, bro. That That's your cube. It's so easy, but if you wanna figure out how to move it, go up here to layer, new, and add a null object. And then you're going to select all of these layers. And you're gonna get this parent pick whip thing and drag it to the first null. Now with this null, you can basically move it. All right, you, you can move your cube. The world is in your hand. That's basically how you make a cube. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for not uploading, but I'm gonna start uploading more consistently. Now on, I know I said that last time, but I really wanna get back into editing and giving out um, content for you guys. If you like this video, please, Drop a like, it helps me a lot. It helps me keep going, so yeah. Um, peace.